Okay, lovely. Let's get going. So I think I am visually on both cameras today. So we'll just do not too crazy a session. We've got a few parties, but we'll just keep our shoulders down and let's take it down. So we might do, I'll do a low impact option of hit today. And I might even do the low impact one. Being a shock to the system getting back. Um, after, yeah, can you believe today? It's miserable, isn't it? After yesterday. <sighs> I'm going to go straight in. And let's do eight more. For seven. For six. For five. For four. For three. Two. And one. And then take it down and just go alternate. Two. Nice and slow though. Lift, over, open up the hip, 
this is a bit tight and gently back slowly up let's do that one more time okay so chin to chest hips backwards way all the way forwards letting the head just hang just rock a little bit rock and walk it out then draw the belly in rotate again lift up keep really strengthening through the shoulder girdle just keep lifting that bottom waist hold you can take your arm over if you want but don't let your shoulder kind of your ears press down to your shoulder and back the other side lift up keep lifting hips forward a little bit waist lifted and then back into downward dog again this time take the right leg up the left heel down hold hold feeling that stretch through the foot raise the heel bring the knee in hold that position hold Take the leg back, take the hips up, take the leg up, take the other heel down, stretching through the calf, hold that position, raise the heel, bring it back in, that knee, hold, go back into plank, back into your downward dog, heels towards the floor, Walk the hands back, nice and slowly, and gently up. Nice and off. Okay, just take a couple of big circles. For two, Whoa. for three. I did a load of plank on Saturday in that hit session. I can still feel it. Two, and one, and then the other way. Six really nice big circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, let's get ready to start. So, first one, let's do this one. So, Karen, just so you feel, babe, anyone who just doesn't want to go crazy today, down, you can jump it, down, jump it back. Yeah, or you can with me, down, step forward, down, step back. That's the low impact one, yeah? So let's go three, two, one. So either down, jump, down, jump back, or down, down, back. So still working hard on this one because you're doing a lot of squats. Still. Yes, I'll make sure I just do that low impact option today. Ten. Five. And last one. Good, well done. Just have a little rest. Take it over. Reach up, push. Well done, let's go again. Three, two, one. So down, jump, down, jump back. I'll go back to that option, low impact. Squat, back, squat, jump, squat, back, up. Good work. Five. Last one. Well done, good work. We've got one more of them, that's all, and then we're going to 
Move on to another exercise. Okay. Just side to side. Let's go with our, our third one. Okay, so deep squat, jump forward. Deep squat, jump back.
Beautiful. Okie dokie. Let's go into star jumps. Again, level one, just star jump at all. Level two, one, two, jump forward back. Level three, two star jumps are tuck. Three, two, one, or a combination of both. One, two, four. One, two, I'm gonna do one of each like that. Beautiful other side. Back up. Okay, let's give ourselves a little bit, not a break. Um, we're going to go into some abdominal work. So come down onto the floor. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to do some abdominals, then come back up into the hip stuff. So level one is just your roll up. So the level Roll-ups for some are uh, not easy, so I'll show you actually, if you don't want to do roll-up, elbows nice and wide, rib cage down, neutral spine, keep that little gap and just lift and lower. That's level one. Level two, roll-up. Level three, single leg with me, lower back. Lift for eight, one side. Lift for seven. Lower ribs before you lift the leg. Make sure that the back is coming towards the floor, the ribs are maintained flat. Three, two, one. Eight the other side. Lower back, eight. Lower ribs and back, seven. Six, five, four,
big breath in as you let the belly rise. Back to centre, the other way. So don't give up on abdominals, just give a few stretches in between and everything starts to feel better again. Okay, round two. Notice only now we only did two rounds of uh, <laughs> side jumps. Yeah, so again, if you want to do a chest lift, really just focus on keeping the core super, super tight. Navel to spine, neutral spine. Lift up and lower. Lift. You might want to do that one. You might want to go back into roll up if it's more mobility or back into your single leg. Lower the ribs and the back to the floor before you raise. Slowly back. Otherwise, you will lose the neutral spine position and start arching. Four, four, three, two, one, other side, eight, seven. Six, do you find cardio easier? Do you find abdominals hard? Four, you can usually find a little bit of a weak spot. Three, two, one, eight, single, eight. Can we do a third round, please, do you think? Seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Whoa. And whoa. well done this time. Grab those ankles, grab the knees, but sorry, lock your ankles, cross your ankles even. <laughs> Bring the knees into the chest. So again, if you feel on this third round, you just don't feel quite strong enough to do single leg teaser, you might decide to just go into chest lift or roll up. Yeah, just think about your form more than anything. Okay, let's go into our final round. So again, if you take your arms back, then this all happens. It's a little bit harder to keep your arms there, but you've more chance of keeping the ribs in and down. Chin towards the chest, ribs come towards the hips, lower back comes down before you start lifting. Nice and slow. Really feeling abdominals now. Or maybe it's because I had a week off. Four, four, three, two, one, eight, the other side, eight, did everyone have pancakes last night? See, we need this today, don't we? Martin made me one with like some kind of butterscotch and then he's like, do you want cream in it? I'm like, no, better not, two more. Two. Oh, eight single. If only I was as disciplined with food as I am with exercise. Two. Three. Four. Life's for living a bit, guys. Balance. Three. Two. Oh. And one. Beautiful. Bring your legs together. Then cross one knee over the other. Just take that foot down to the floor of the head the other way. Take a big breath in, let the belly rise. Last one. Back to centre. Always really, really important that when you've done abdominal work, you do some kind of back stretch because if you do your abs properly, it will work all the internal obliques and the TA muscles which wrap around the back. Beautiful. Well done. Let's come up onto your front. Okay guys, let's do a little bit of front work so we don't have to do it again. And then we will come back into our top. Uh, into cardio. So, a little bit of cardio here. So, into your plank position, draw the belly in, make sure you're lifting out your breastbone. Keep the plank, we're not doing this. 
We're not doing burpees, we're just coming in nice and quick. Not quite mountain climbers, because I think mountain climbers people lose their form a lot. Nice and fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch the back out, bring the hands back, take the heels towards the floor, a little rest.
hand behind the back. That is one move that a lot of people, men particularly, when I try and get them to do it on the bed, they can't do it when I'm massaging. They lose that ability. And then just circle up for four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, let's go into a little bit more cardio. Okay, doc. Karen, I'll say bye now, baby, in case you need to go at any point, sweet, for your meeting. Okay, so let's go down. And one, and two, and three. If you just want to do full squats, you can. If you don't want to jump. Ten more. Three lots of twenty. Go twelve. For three, for two, for one. Well done. Push in. Do you know when I was skiing, didn't feel this ankle once, and since I've come home, I think it must be because, yeah, just supported, I guess, in my skiing boot, right? Yeah. Then push in. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one. Well done. 
three, two, one, let's go. Great if you're going skiing, guys. My legs didn't hurt me once. Well, my tibia did a bit. My tibia is just there. These are much harder. Five more. Really. 
but they're all kind of part of the, you know, if you're working your hamstrings. So lift up, push on that inner knee. And if you've been doing side leg last night like I was and need this, push on the inner knee. Oh, I hope, hope you get better, Chloe. I know you're great at doing YouTube's bed. And Zoe's well, Zoe's not been 100% and the new doggy's been poorly. Push on that inner knee. How much better did everyone feel yesterday when the sun was out and at the weekend? We just never have consistency in the UK, do we? Okay, grab hold. If you've got a ball, just put the ball underneath your head, guys, because it just gives you that little bit of support. You can actually, if you've got the ball, if you haven't, just do this with the head on the floor, on the mat. You can just have a nice little gentle side to side. Beautiful. Lovely. And then take the band around the leg. Everyone who does exercise should really have a band at home. And then just, you can use them for resistance as well, for weights. And just hold it up. Don't bring it too far up here so you're not going to go into imprint and bend the knee. Keep the leg nice and straight. Just flex the foot. Hold that stretch. Hold. And then point, and then flex it again, hold, and then point, and flex it again, and point, and flex it again. And then just take the band and just gently bring it out to the side. Just a nice inner thigh stretch, nothing major. You can use the band to increase it a little bit by bringing it further towards you. And then just gently back up, internally rotate that foot. And if it's not too much, bend the other knee and just bring it across the midline. Hold, can be quite intensely stretch. If it's too painful, just release it a little bit. Just hold that position. Good. Straighten the leg again underneath and just have a little twist. You don't have to bring it all the way to the floor if you don't want. What feels comfortable. It's always a bit, and then back, it's always a bit um, frustrating for people, isn't it, when they have to leave early because this is pretty important part of the session as well. And then again, just hold into calf stretch by flex, flexing the foot. Hold that position. And then point. And then bring it back in again, flex again. Hold. And then just bend the other knee, but take that hat band in the same hand as the leg that's up and just bring it out into inner thigh stretch. Shouldn't feel too intense the inner thigh one, should feel really quite nice. I think the sciatic one going inwards is a lot more intense. But it depends where you carry your tightness. And then back up again and then again, just flex in and out. So just turn the foot in and out, really good for the ankle to move it in version E version and then in and then again just gently across if it makes you go out you've gone too far release it a little bit just take some deep breaths if this is a particularly tight stretch you need to start just doing it a little bit more and then just gently out to the side try to keep the shoulders down
Beautiful. Soften the knee and just take the band away. And then just take your arms up to ceiling and a little bit of a picking up the apple. So protraction, grab the apple, retract. Did a little bit on the shoulders and then just into flexion. Again, notice if there's more impingement on one side. There will be Katie on yours, there is on my left one, so I'll always tighter. And then if it's not too much, you can just do a couple of windmills. And one more each side. And beautiful, over onto your front. And just take some little circles. And either way. And then tuck your toes and just 